الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبت في الله we have to know that Islam or in Islam when we speak about Iman faith that it is comprised of three things it's comprised of belief in the heart and it's comprised of actions on the limbs and it's comprised of speech or actions of the tongue for example when we have tawakkal on Allah when we rely strictly on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our heart and we believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our heart and believe in the unseen this is a matter of the heart and having taqwa and fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala although it can be manifested on the limbs as well but the asal of those forms of ibadah or worship is that they're contained in the heart and the second part of iman is iman of the tongue so when we make the shahada when we say ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammad rasulullah when you bear witness that there is no god worthy of worship except allah and that muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the last prophet of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that is something on the tongue that is something on the tongue and of course it comprises of the heart so the acts of ibadah are interconnected many of them all of them so but this is an utterance of the tongue showing that this is a part of iman as well as the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in an authentic hadith and the third component or part of iman is iman of the limbs meaning actions that we do so when we make the salat when we make the zakat uh, uh, when we fa uh, fast or hajj you know those outward acts of obedience to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or we remove something harmful from the road which the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that that is from the weakest forms of iman or that is you know one of the smallest parts of iman letting us know that iman is comprised of those three things when we command the good and we forbid the evil this is also from iman this is from faith and when we talk about iman habita fillah as ahl sunna understood iman iman it increases and it decreases so iman increases with obedience to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when we do acts of righteousness uh, we pray we fast we make hajj we give charity we do make the umrah or the pilgrimage uh, any acts uh, we smile at someone we say a kind word to someone all of these are acts of obedience to allah and acts of goodness which increase your iman they illustrate strong iman but they increase iman so in iman increases with ta'a it increases with obedience to allah and likewise it decreases with disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so when we do an act that a sinful act we curse someone we backbite someone we physically harm someone we are arrogant towards someone we are envious of someone these are signs of weak iman and they decrease our iman so when we do the sin it actually decreases us it takes away from us and this is the understanding of ahl sunnah and allah says throughout the quran there's many illustrations dalil or evidence from the from the the quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitabi al karim li yuzadu imanan ma al imanihim that their faith will increase with their faith you know that their faith will be increased with their faith and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fi kitab al karim wazadna hum huda and we increase them increase them in guidance letting us know that guidance it fluctuates and this is a part of iman that 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 hidayah that guidance 
and uh, Iman, it increases and it decreases. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Kitab al Kareem, We yazid Allah ladina ahtadu huda. And Allah increases those uh, He is uh, increases in, in, in guidance uh, and gives, gives them guidance. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Fi kitab al-kareem, وَالَّذِينَ اَحْتَدُوا زَادُهُمْ هُدَى And those who uh, ha have been guided, then we increase them in guidance. So with guidance comes an increase in guidance, showing us what? That Iman fluctuates, that Iman can be in, an increase and guidance can be increased. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فِي كِتَابِ الْكَرِيمِ وَيَزَادَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا إِيمَانًا And those who believe will be, uh, are increased in Iman. The point be, be, being here, the shahid, is that Iman increases. There are actions and there are ways in which our Iman increases. Letting us know that what? Iman increases and it decreases. So it's not always stable. Sometimes throughout the day your Iman may fluctuate and you may fall into a sin or you may be discouraged by something and not sure of yourself and it may cause you to weaken in your Iman. These are illustrations uh, or, or, or practical ways in which we observe how our Iman decreases and how our Iman increases. Likewise, when you do a good deed, you feel good. And this may this will increase your Iman. If you give charity for the sake of Allah, not because you're being pressured, not for some other reason, but you give it for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You open the Mus'haf and you read the Quran for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You do some action strictly for the sake, seeking the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His pleasure, then you find that your Iman is increased. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be of those whose Iman increases and not decreases. And may Allah forgive us of our many, many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabi and Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.